that's a really smooth shave you got there. Gee, thanks. I use Edge Pro Gel. Hey, guys, could we? Nine, nine, Edge has nine different formulas. Really? Wow, your face is so soft. That's Edge to set some skin. Next time, use your own can of Edge. That was my can. What's not? Lock rooms that way for a can of Edge. Boy, I can use a close shave. Everyone's skin is different, so Edge Pro Gel comes in nine different formulas to meet your individual shaving needs. Edge, save your skin. Yeah! This NFL Films production is a presentation of the National Football League. NFL Team Highlight Films are brought to you by Edge Pro Gel. Save your skin. I'm redefining where we're going. If anybody gets sweaty palms or nervous, then they don't need to be around here right now. This team is going to the playoffs. I believe in this team. We'll fight. We'll line up and fight. That's big time. That's big time. Nice job, man. Hey. Hey. That's big time. In the year 2000, the New York football giants entered a new millennium with one of the franchise's most memorable seasons ever. Coming off a 7-9 record and having lost all of their preseason games, Few pundits picked them to be a factor in the NFC East race. They could not have been more wrong. By season's end, one of the most underrated teams in NFL history had stunned the critics with a 12-win season and stood alone atop the National Football Conference. I think we shocked a lot of people, but we didn't shock ourselves. In this country or playing in this league, if you got a belief, you got a determination, and you got teamwork, there pretty much isn't anything you can accomplish if you got some talent. We have talent. You know what? We're living the American dream. We're the American dream. In the playoffs, the Giants made believers out of a nation, winning twice to advance to pro football's ultimate game. The Giants 41, the Vikings nothing. Super Bowl, here we come. This is the Giant team that was referred to as the worst team ever to win the home field advantage in the National Football League. And today, on this field of painter's mud, we proved that we're the worst team ever to win the National Football Conference Championship. <laughs> And I'm happy to say that in two weeks, we're going to try to become the worst team ever to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Stover approaches the football. We are underway. The flashbulb sparkled for the high climbing kick. Dixon will range back to his own three. Dixon to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ron Dixon's going to go. No one's going to catch him. In Super Bowl 35, the Giants hoped to capture their third Lombardi Trophy in 15 years. But Ron Dixon's 97-yard kickoff return would be one of the few highlights in a disappointing loss. Uncharacteristic turnovers and mistakes took their toll, bringing the Giants' American dream to a nightmarish end. But even in defeat, the fighting spirit that had carried them through the season remained undaunted. I live to fight another day. Yeah. You had a great season, man. I'm proud of you. The Giants began the 2000 season sporting new uniforms, a new grass field, and facing an old foe, division rival Arizona. Pitch right, Tiki. To the outside, can't cut it. Now hesitation move, cuts at the 10. Reverses his field to the near side. Throws away for Batman. Tiki Barber dazzled from the start. 
Farmer to the 10. Five spectacular touchdown. Lightning would strike the same place twice. They hand it off for Barber, running right. Big hole to the 30, 35, 40. There goes Barber in a foot race to the Cardinal 40. Barber ripped off the longest run of his career. 10, 5, touchdown Tiki Barber! 78 yards! What a run by Tiki! He's having an all pro day! Tiki Barber, 13, Cardinal jumping. Hey, 21. Great job, buddy. Hey. That's a hell of a job, man. That's a great job. In the third quarter, storm clouds gather. What happens in a game like that if in the third quarter something we got lightning and stuff? Do they delay the game? It's lightning. Right. Oh, yeah, no. I just hear the popping. Yeah, let's go. That was thunder and lightning. And I think Bill Carollo is going to get these football players off the field. After a 23-minute delay, the lightning subsided. But there is still a little thunder left in the form of rookie Ron Dane. All right. Heisman Trophy winner gets his first NFL rushing touchdown. In the eye of a September storm, the thunder and lightning backfield was born. And it would bolster the offense through the first half of the season. That was a great game, man. Thank I'm going to tell you what, man. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, man. I mean, that's I mean, a hell of a job. Really? A hell of a job. In the year 2000, Tiki Barber enjoyed his finest season as a pro. He broke the 1,000-yard mark for the first time and set a franchise record with over 2,000 all-purpose yards. Lightning 21. <laughs> bang, 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 right in there. His 70 receptions were also a career high. Oh, Tiki, baby! Throughout the entire season, Barber stayed hungry and kept the opposition thirsty. The other half of the Thunder and Lightning backfield was Ron Dane, whose 770 rushing yards were the second most by a rookie in team history. Dane's thunderous power was an effective complement to Barber's lightning strikes. And together, they formed the perfect storm to opposing defenses. Bang, bang, bang. Boom. That was thunder and lightning. Bang, 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 bang. Safety in the corner, keep coming on the corner. I'm going to come right off your ass. The safety won't give me. I'll break that tackle. In week two, Barber jump started Big Blue's attack against the Eagles. Tiki cuts it back left. There's Barber to the 15, to the 20, breaks it to the outside, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown! What a run by Behind a revamped offensive line, quarterback Kerry Collins received ample time to dissect the Philadelphia secondary. Pump throws a corner fade to the end zone. Touchdown, Amani Tumor. Collins to throw again. Off the back of his foot to the end zone. Touchdown, I kill you. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. That's how we do it, baby. I like it. At 2 and 0, New York appeared to have nothing but blue skies on the horizon. The Giants continued to live their American dream in Chicago, facing a young Bears team that was visibly intimidated by the colors of red, white, and big blue. In giving up only seven points, the defense gave a preview of the force it would become in 2000. The Giants just decided we're not fooling around. At Atlanta, the defensive attack was relentless and unstoppable, holding the Falcons to a franchise low 13 rushing yards. On the year, the defense would finish first in the NFC against the run. Michael Strahan once again getting into the backfield and causing problems. With his power and desire, defensive end Michael Strahan was a true leader on the defense. But he was not alone in that department. 
Tag him, Mike! Tag him, Mike! Linebacker Jesse Armstead led the Giants in tackles for the fifth season in a row and was selected to his fourth consecutive Pro Bowl. Sack made by Jesse Armstead. The unsung hero of the defense was tackle Keith Hamilton, who led the Giants in sacks and enjoyed the greatest season of his career. New linebacker Mike Farrow added even more pop to an already potent attack. Peterson back, under pressure, sacked by Cornelius Griffin. From top to bottom, this was a unit that not only knew how to dish it out, they could also take it away. For the middle pass, incomplete, intercepted by Ryan Phillips. With safety, Sean Williams and Sam Garns patrolling the middle, the defense was capable of taking over a game at any time, as it did at home against Dallas. The pressure applied by the front seven resulted in multiple takeaways for the secondary. Aiken back, looking over the middle, looking left, thrown in the end zone. Intercepted, oh, he missed Harris terribly. Aiken back, they pick up the blitz, he airs it out, going deep for Hodge. Intercepted at the goal line by Reggie Stevens. Troy Aikman finished the game with a career-high five interceptions as the Big Blue wrecking crew secured another New York victory. The Giants were now the monster in control of the NFC East. And they next feasted on the rival Eagles for a second time. Power to the goal line, Joe Montgomery's first touch of the season is a score. Barber the long set back, blitz on, quick slant, pass complete, Cooper at the 20, Cooper to the 10, Cooper to the 5, Cooper's got a touchdown. Thanks to the superb efforts of general manager Ernie Accorsi, Terry Collins was protected by a rebuilt offensive line in 2000. Pro Bowl guard Ron Stone, along with several new faces in the trenches, helped revitalize New York's passing game. Receiver Amani Toomer caught 78 balls and went over the 1,000-yard mark for the second consecutive season. He's got a touchdown! Opposite Toomer was the nimble-footed Ike Hilliard, who led the Giants in touchdown catches. Holland's other targets were Joe Juravicious, and rookie Ron Dixon. A long ball, far side, going for the end zone. He's got a guy. The ball is caught. Touch, touchdown, Giants. In Cleveland, the receiving core would account for all three of New York's touchdowns. Collins back. Collins looks. Collins throws right. Caught, touchdown. What a throw by Collins. Collins, quick slant. Got Toomer on the right. Toomer bounces off a tackle and bounces into the end zone. Takes the snap, drops back. Plenty of time. Down the right sideline. Into the end zone. Touchdown! Amani Toomer with a great catch. And what a throw by Collins. With their domination of the Browns, the Giants were now 7-2 and two, and appeared to have a firm grip on the NFC East title. However, Giant fans would slip into a state of disbelief over the next two weeks as the team began to falter. Not pretty, and it's really a breakdown. And the Giants, flat as a pancake, and it is blocked. And the Giants, undisciplined football. Consecutive home losses to the Rams and Lions put the Giants' playoff hopes in doubt. The team was heading in the wrong direction, and it was clear that something had to be done. Following back-to-back -back losses, Jim Fossil held a press conference that would alter the Giants' entire season. Get off my coaches' backs. Get off the players' backs. I'm responsible for the whole thing. I'm raising the stakes right now. This is a poker game. I'm shoving my chips to the middle of the table. I'm raising the ante. Anybody wants in, get in. Anybody wants out, can get out. OK? This team is going to the playoffs. And that's my whole goal in life right now. I'll set the course, and I'll set the expectations, and they got to live up to them. The players responded to Fossil's challenge with a complete demolition of the Cardinals in Arizona. The next week, they again backed up his guarantee in a bruising defensive struggle at Washington. In a game that would prove to be the turning point of the season, 
The defense shut down the playoff hungry Redskins and kicker Brad Del Riso supplied all the points. Hand over and kick. Does it have the distance on its way? It is good. When the Giants beat Pittsburgh at home, the streak went to three in a row, and a division crown was in sight. No touchdown! He, he bounced off a tackle. What an effort by Ike! We got to keep working. We got to keep believing, and keep winning. In the 2000 season, Jim Fossil turned in the greatest coaching performance of his career. We're kind of in a lull right now. Get our attitude right. Let's get ready to come out and execute. You got it? Hey, I mean it. Let's get some pop. Not walking out of the huddle. Let's shift, move quick, get a tempo going, and let's start playing some ball aggressively. On the protection, on the routes, on the run. Come on, let's put, we need another one on the board. Hey, I love your toughness. I love your toughness, and I love your hustle. Above all, he stressed composure in the face of adversity. I don't care what they do to you. Life is full of a lot of people doing stuff to you, and you got to walk away. Yes, sir. Okay? All right. The Giants' composure was put to the test in Dallas when they were forced to rally from a 13-point second-half deficit. But he's got two in the end zone. Touchdown! And the Giants finally get on the board. With the NFC East title within reach, the team came alive. Running to the outside. Barber to the 10. Barber to the 5. Barber in for a touchdown! Tiki, baby, tight roping. Play like a champion, man. Hey. That's right, heat it up. It's up, dog. Right here. Hey, it's up, dog. Let's go. If Dallas does not convert here, the ball game is over. Hand off Wiley. He is stopped. And the Giants are going to win the NFC East. Jim Fossil has watched his team win four in a row after his playoff guarantee. His guarantee has come true. That's a hell of a job, man. That is unbelievable. The team that everyone had written off five weeks earlier was now not only the king of the NFC East, it would have a chance to clinch home field throughout the playoffs with the win in the season finale against Jacksonville. throw looking lobs it down the right sideline and it's caught by Toomer turns right he's in for a touchdown with the crowd in a holiday spirit Jason Seahorn iced the home field advantage thanks to an early Christmas gift grabbed by the Giants Jason Seahorn he's gonna run it in <laughs> touchdown Giants after 17 long grueling weeks of football one thing was now certain The Giants' playoff drive began with a difficult task. Beating the rival Eagles for the third time of the season. They waited only one play to start. Up to the 10, 15, right to right, 20, 25, 30. Then it goes Dixon to the outside, it's a foot race. Ron Dixon to midfield. Ron Dixon's going to score. But this is the best way you can ever imagine to start a football game. And Giants Stadium is ready to explode. The fans were fired up. And so was the defense. The defense's relentless pressure on Donovan McNabb set up Big Blue's second touchdown. McNabb again over center. Drops straight back. Giants on a flip. McNabb hit as he throws. Swings it right. And the pass nearly hit. It is intercepted by Seahorn. He's got it on the run. Down the left sideline. Cuts it at the 10. Somehow it did not hit the ground, and then he captured it, took it down the far sideline. Jason Seahorn gives the Giants a 16 0 lead. Hey, hey! I tell you what, that was a good play. I've ever seen it. I told him. That's the best I've ever seen. Look, he was knocking down, rolling the ground, got it. That was unbelievable. Hey, I've never seen a play like that, man. Hey, Jason, I've never seen anything like that. That's right. Woo! The Giants were now one game away from the Super Bowl. Legends of the past returned to Giant Stadium to witness the biggest game there in over a decade. The towels are waving.
happened. The fans are fired up. 60 minutes from the Super Bowl. Will it be the Vikings or the New York Giants? They ain't seen nothing like us. Get after they ask the kids to end, all right? So respect on three. One, two, three, respect. respect. On the game's fourth play, the Giants struck. Collins back steps up over the middle, and he's got a man. It's to Hilliard to the five touchdown. 46 yards down the left side. I want to be like that. He's got six. And what a perfect long pass by Collins. Quarterback Kerry Collins would continue his season of redemption by playing the best game of his career. Looking, throwing down the right side. It's got Camilla. Is uh, sensing blood in the water. Before Minnesota's offense has ever stepped on the field, the Giants have 13 points. With accuracy and touch, Collins torched the Viking secondary for 381 yards. As a national audience looked on in disbelief, Collins found receivers like Ike Hilliard and Amani Toomer with astounding regularity. Look, lobs it back one of the end zone for Toomer. He's got a touchdown! Yeah! Yeah! He just outworked the defensive back. I mean, he was right on target. Oh, what a play by Collins! He's having a superb game. Collins' fifth touchdown a new of the game. Record. Yes. Boy, for an NFC title game, you would never have expected this in a million years. The Vikings on the near side, glancing up at the scoreboard. A bit shocked, a bit dazed. This game is over. This game was over in the first quarter. I told these guys in the first quarter, hey, Giants can't be beat, and they, Minnesota may not score. Keep them off the board! Keep them off the scoreboard! John Fox's defense would shut down young sensation Dante Culpepper and hold the vaunted receiving tandem of Randy Moss and Chris Carter to a mere five catches. In the end, the Giants simply wanted it more. The final score, the Giants 41, the Vikings nothing. Super Bowl, here we come. Great job. Thank I mean, you. Unbelievable. Thanks, thanks for everything. Hey, put it on your shoulder and you get it right on through there. I mean it. It's the best feeling I ever had, baby. I'm going to Tampa. I'm going to my first Super Bowl, baby. Although the Giants would not win Super Bowl 35, that one loss should never be allowed to dim the memory of what was truly a remarkable season. A season in which the Giants lived the American dream. Theirs was a story of hard work and perseverance. A story of a coach who made a bold guarantee and a team that rallied around him. In the year 2000, the New York football giants began a new century by stunning the football world. That spectacular season is now behind them, but the giants will be back to show that the American dream lives on. Edge Pro Gel presents the New York Giants ultimate performance of 2000. In the NFC Championship, the Giants offense erupted for 41 points against the Minnesota Vikings. New York's aerial assault included five touchdown passes and sent the G-Men on their way to Super Bowl 35 in grand style. Close one on the end zone, touchdown Jarvis! Edge Pro Gel is the official shave gel of the NFL. Save your skin. NFL Films production has been brought to you by the National Football League. The NFL is online at www.nfl.com.